continuous random variable mean and variance let's do this example so the formula for the mean which is expected value of x is equal to integration from lower limit to upper limit x times the probability density function the formula for the variance is expected value of x squared minus the mean squared so let us first find the mean so put the limits 0 to 4 now we're going to multiply this function by x so we will get 1 over 20 then the bracket we multiplied by x we get x squared plus 3x now we integrate so 1 over 20 x cubed divided by 3 then here we get 3 x squared divided by 2 with the limits now we substitute the limits first we substitute the upper limit so 4 cubed divided by 3 here 4 squared which is 16 divided by 2 is 8 8 times 3 is 24 and the lower limit will give us 0 so if we simplify the bracket this can be 3 times 24 which is 72 72 plus 64 so that's 136 and it's divided by 3 and we can simplify this to be 34 divided by 15 which is equal to 2.2 Two, now we work out the expected value of x squared this time is 1 over 20 and then the function value in the bracket x plus 3 is going to be multiplied by x squared so we get x cubed plus 3x squared now we integrate so this get x to the power 4 divided by 4 plus we just get x cubed then divide by 3 that cancel by 3 so just x cubed the limits now we can substitute the limits So x to the power 4 means 4 to the power 4 divided by 4 is just 64. x cubed, 4 cubed is 64. So we get the answer 128 divided by 20, which can be simplified to 32 divided by 5, which is 6.4. Now we work out the variance. So the expected value of x squared minus the mean squared. So this is 6.4. Then we use the exact value of the mean. So it's 34 divided by 15 squared. And then you use your calculator. From the calculator, we get the answer in decimals 1.26. So this is our mean, and this is our variance. So now we write the answers. The mean 
is equal to 2.27 and variance is equal to 1.26.